just when you thought things just couldn't get any worse. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms, LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, be a link in the description box below. And if you like my channel and you wish to support my channel, you can do so in the links in the description box below. Everything is appreciated. But let's talk about this. To all of you out there watching, let me give you this scenario. You're working on your job, a criminal comes up and pulls a firearm on you and shoots you twice. You get the gun away from the criminal and shoot him. Then the district attorney charged to, uh, is basically going to charge you with attempted murder. Sounds like uh, something out of Spielberg, right? No, this actually happened. This happened in New York, Manhattan on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. A parking lot attendant doing his job, which is partly security to keep an eye on the cars, observed somebody looking through the windows, confronted him, and it escalated into basically a gun battle. And yes, my opening diatribe is exactly what happened. But let's go into here and read about this and I'll give you my two cents. But, Western Journal. Worker hit with attempted murder charge after turning the tables on alleged armed thief. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Now, of course, his name is now infamous at this point in time because, as you know, he is the district attorney who amped up charges against former President Trump. Same guy. But is being reviled in a published report after attempted murder charges were filed against a parking garage worker who was shot twice early Sunday or Saturday before shooting at his attacker. Musa Diara is charged with attempted murder, assault, and criminal possession of weapon charges, according to New York Post, which cited police and sources it did not name. The Post reported that police officers trashed Bragg over the incident. And here's some Twitter feeds, but Quote, people like Alvin Bragg have made this city unsafe, and this worker is a victim defending himself, the Post quoted one NYPD officer it did not name as saying. And then free Musa Diara is all over Twitter at this point. But here's a Twitter person uh, saying, charged with attempted murder in New York for trying to stop an armed robber. Another officer mocked Bragg's policy of letting low-level criminals back on the street, according to law officers. Now, apparently he has a track record of taking felonies and knocking them down to misdemeanors and basically just letting violent people back on the streets. Except in Trump's case, he took misdemeanor charges that were already, the statute of limitations are already expired and turned them into felony charges. It's kind of funny how that works, but quote, the ironic thing is if he would have just robbed the garage and got caught, Bragg would have let him go. He's talking about the criminal, but now he wants to charge both of them. The unnamed officer said, Family friend, Miriam Diara, no relation to the attendant who defended himself, says she could not understand the charges. Quote, that's self-defense. The guy tried to rob his business. Why DA would want to charge him with attempted murder, she said, the Post reported. Quote, he's there for security. That's literally his job to defend his business. He takes his job seriously. Attempted murder charge has no place there. The robber came to find him at his job with his gun. Diara has a right to, has to defend himself, she said. And this is just an, another Twitter quote, but it's very true, as a matter of fact. But this person is saying the purpose of Alvin Bragg charging a victim like Musa Diara is to send a message that New Yorkers shouldn't fight back, that they should, we should sit tight and accept crime. If somebody breaks into a car and steals, you should do nothing and let the criminals run wild. That's what they want. And it is basically what they want. They want chaos. The incident took place at about 5.30 a.m. on Saturday when Diara saw a man looking through the windows of park, cars parked in the garage on West 31st Street, according to the Post. Diara brought the, brought the man outside and asked what he was what was in the bag he was carrying. He found out when the man pulled a gun on him. Diara tried to get the gun, which then went off, hitting him in the stomach and ear. The attendant then wrestled the gun away and fired upon his attacker, hitting him in the chest. Police identified the man who shot Diara as Charles Rody, 
who was charged with attempted murder, assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and burglary. And then New York City is lost. I hope Musa Diar gets released. What they what did they want him to do? Get killed? Technically, yes. Musa and Rodi, both of Manhattan, were reported in stable condition in Bellevue Hospital. Now, I'm going to come on out of that. <sighs> Amazing. Remember, but you got to remember, this is the same DA who tried to, was going to charge a man. If you remember the incident at a bodega, uh, this was months ago. Woman did not have the money to pay for an item she was trying to purchase. The clerk removed that item from her. She called her boyfriend. Boyfriend came in there, started basically beating the guy up. The guy defended himself from serious bodily harm, and he wanted to charge the clerk who was being attacked with, I believe, it was manslaughter charges. Same DA, same deal. I always said that they hold the public to a higher standard than the criminals. Because as this person said, if this person had gotten away with shooting this parking lot attendant and escaped, if they caught up with him sooner or later, they would probably knock the charges down to nothing and let him back out on the streets. It's, it's just disturbing. But as of today, today is Monday, new information has now come forward that the DA is not going to charge the worker. And I can imagine that the backlash coming at him was probably so intense. He took a step back and thought about it and said, nah, it's not a good idea. Let me, <laughs> let me not go down this road. But there's good news at the end that the clerk will not be charged and the criminal will probably more than likely under the same guy will get his charges knocked down to nothing. He'll be back out on the streets. And there it is. Vicious cycle starting all over again. But it sets a dangerous precedent. This, this should never have happened. These charges against this parking lot attendant should never, ever have happened. It should never have happened. He didn't even have a gun himself. He used the assailant's gun. He managed to get it from him and used it on him. What's the problem? What is the issue here? But that's the state of our society. These people, especially these people on this particular ideal and party, just loves the criminal element and coddles them to the point of mediocrity, to the point where good people get injured and killed because of it. But there it is. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.